Chechnya is just coming out of the second of an incredibly brutal pair of wars in which civilian life was utterly disrespected. It has turned into a dirty war with pro-Moscow Chechen forces, forces under command of the Chechen government, responsible for abuses such as torture and arbitrary detention and disappearances. Documentation provided by Natalia and her colleagues from Memorial Human Rights Center became absolutely crucial for creating a record of abuses by both sides during the Chechen conflict. There were deliberate attacks on civilians that brought that war to a level of brutality that really is rare in the world. What Natalia did and what Human Rights Watch has done is to bring forward the facts about the way in which that war was conducted at a time when it was so dangerous on the ground in Chechnya that very few people, very few journalists, were bothering to cover the way the war was fought. The Russian government has made clear that it doesn't like and it doesn't plan really to tolerate uh, voices of dissent. The last thing the Russian government wants to see is Human Rights Watch doing field research in Chechnya. And without the help of local activists, we would not have been able to do anything. Chechnya is an unbelievably risky place with different actors, all of whom are not shy about picking up a gun and shooting somebody who they think has gotten in their way. People are afraid to talk, people are afraid to complain, and people believe that the best thing to do is just to sit quietly and not do anything. Natalia is somebody who actually can convince people that this may not be the best strategy. She's not trying to be a Rambo. She's not somebody who dismisses danger, but fear is not part of her day-to-day -day agenda. Chechen authorities, be it police or prosecutor's office, are the main perpetrators of human rights abuses, and Natalia obviously knows that. But nonetheless, she tries to deal with them uh, within the framework of law. I think powerful women can sometimes shame even the most shameless official into doing something. And Natalia is definitely an example. One of Natalia's greatest achievements was bringing the cases of Chechens to the European Court on Human Rights in a situation where the world in general, and Europe in particular, was completely unwilling to take any action, the European Court has become the most important avenue to justice. The European Court uh, ruled against Russia in uh, more than a dozen cases. It obliged Russia to pay compensations to victims of abuses. By now, even in remote, tiny villages, people do know about that. For them, that's the sign of hope.